Hello, my painting friends. It's Janae again, and today I'm going to paint this muskox. So, I looked it up. It's kind of like a bison. Um, so, I'm going to paint it with all these different lines and different colors, and then add some different details here and there. So, you can see, I've already taken my ruler and given myself some lines. Some of them are far apart. Some of them are really close together. Um... But that's really all we're going to do to get started for our base coat. And so it may take a little while because we're going to try to keep in these lines. And sometimes that takes a little, a little time. But it's going to be super cute and super fun. So just follow right along. And I looked up on Pinterest. The basic idea for this is actually, um, it's actually on a biasin picture, but I really liked it, so I wanted to give it a try on this muskox. And what we're going to do is paint each one a different color, each line a different color, and it's going to turn out super cute. It's going to be pretty easy, actually. It's going to take a little while because there's so many lines, but it's going to turn out really nice. So now we'll just smooth this out. I had picked up quite a bit of paint, so now I'm just smoothing it out. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep your paint lines going the same direction as your line. You would wanna paint you know, left to right when your lines are going up and down. So we're gonna skip this next one because I want that brown to dry. So we'll move on over a couple lines and just add our colors over here. And you don't, there's no rhyme or reason to my choice of colors. I am just picking up colors. I have no plan as to which colors I'm going to use, except that I know I don't want to put the same color beside itself. <laughs> so, um, just for the sake of time, I can go ahead and speed up some parts of this because um, I'm really not teaching you anything helpful at this point. We're just filling in these different lines and spreading out our colors throughout the entire piece. Okay, so I'm gonna hop along here and I'll be back in a sec.
Okay, you guys, so now we're done with our base coat. We're gonna go ahead and hit this with the hair dryer to make sure it's good and dry before we move on to our second coats. Um, some areas will not need a second coat, but some of them will. Anywhere you see that you've got paint um, streaks or you can see the wood shining through, or perhaps your color's just not as vibrant as you had hoped it would be. Go ahead and hit those areas with your second coat, but make sure you dry it first. Make sure it's completely dry, because if not, it's really not gonna help and you'll just be spinning your wheels. So if it's completely dry, you can go back over it and it'll really help those colors stand out a little bit more. So again, um, just for the sake of time, there's no reason for you to sit here and watch me do second coats. Um, you guys go ahead and work on your second coats and we'll catch back up when you're all done, okay? Okie doke, so now we've got our second coats done and we've got everything dry. Make sure everything is good and dry before you move on. Now, I've got my phone here. You can see the original picture that I looked at that I thought was super cute. Um, I just wanted you to see the example that I was looking at. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna do this exactly like that. I'm just gonna put my own patterns in each different line, in each different colored area. Um, so that phone idea there gives you the idea of what I'm going for, but it's not going to be exact. Um, so just start with any area you want and create your own patterns in that colored area. So I am going to try to tidy up my mess over here and then I will get started. So now I've picked up this very, very tiny liner brush and I am going to just start here in this burnt umber area, in the brown area, adding little lines all the way down. And again, this can be any pattern that you like. You can do dots, triangles, zigzags, uh, chevron, um, buffalo plaid. I mean, you can do just about any design you like. Um, and I'm really just winging it. I have no plan. Uh, just wanted to create something a little bit different, a little bit fun. And here we go. So I am alternating these. You can see that I'm not putting them lined up perfectly. So in the center of where the top row 
meats. Well, I don't even know how to explain this, you guys. I'm just alternating <laughs> just in the in the center of these top two. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes it's hard to explain what you're doing because you're just used to painting and not talking through it, so it's different. Okay, so now I'm going to just go in the center where the gap is of the line that I just did and add a little dot. And I'm using the back end of my paintbrush, the stick side, and just dipping it every dot or so um, in the paint and putting a dot in between those two lines that I just painted. Now you could chalk this on um, if you knew what you were looking for and you wanted it to be exact and perfect. You could you know, go through and measure and be super technical about it, but I didn't want to do all that. I wanted it to be more fun and free, free flowing. So another thing you could do is they have these really great markers that I hear everybody rave about. They're called, um, oh shoot, what are they called? It starts with a P. Posca pens, that's what they're, they're called. Um, lots of people love those. I haven't used them myself but there are some really great paint pens that people love um, who do this all the time. And you could get one of those pens. You could get multiple colors of those pens and just do this with a pen instead of a paintbrush. Um, I wanted to do it all with a paintbrush just to kind of be authentic. Say I did the whole thing with paint, um, with a paintbrush. But there's nothing wrong with using the Posca pens at all. And I say if that's um, what you like, then you go for that. So now I'm just adding larger stripes just to vary it up a little bit, a little bit fatter line and a little bit longer line. Just trying to keep it as straight as possible. So I don't really have any additional tips at this point. Um, I'm just going to finish out this brown area with some different patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, I decided to join these because I didn't like them. It's going to be a solid line. See there, you guys, you can just change it at the last minute to just do whatever you want it to do. I meant to do that. That was my plan from the beginning. Ha ha ha. <laughs> You guys know better. You guys know that I like to change it up in the middle of the process. Yeah, sometimes you get that way. Sometimes you find that you want to try something, but you don't like it, so you turn it into something else. So that's what I love about painting. You can't mess it up. You just turn it into something else. You can turn an oops into, ooh, that's cool. So that's always fun. I love that part about painting. Okay, so now we're going to just do some kind of pattern here more solid lines. Looks like we're going to do that. Um, meet back up with you on our next one and we'll decide what pattern we're going to do there. So now here we are fixing to start our next colored section, this bright orange section. And I have chosen, again, this tiny liner brush, and I have chosen a um, turquoise because I wanted to try to find a color that would stand out on it. And I'm trying to decide what pattern I want to do now. And I'm thinking it's going to be kind of like 
some lines that turn into a diamond shape, maybe. We'll see. So now this line is going to come stop in the center of that top line. And we're gonna do another one just like that, alternating. Now that one's gonna come back in a little bit, just like the second line did. And this next line is gonna be just like the very first line we did. Just to give it kind of a, a funky pattern and we're just going to do that same thing throughout. Again, if you wanted to chalk this on or use a marker, I certainly would not fault you for it. It would definitely be easier if you had a plan. Um, I am notorious for not having a plan and just winging it. So sometimes you'll see with my stuff that it works and sometimes you'll see that it doesn't. But that's, that's part of what is so fun, I think, about this because it's great for beginners to see that even if you've been doing this a while, you still wing it sometimes and you still mess up sometimes, but you can always fix it. And that held me back for a really long time of feeling like, well, it's not going to be perfect the first time, so why waste my time? But the more you work on it and the more times that it doesn't turn out, the more opportunity you have to learn. And if you're not failing and you're not having an oops, then you're not learning anything. So that's where we learn and we improve. And didn't mean to get off on my soapbox there, but I wanted to share that with everybody because this is something that is a super fun hobby. It's a super fun thing to do. And so many people, I think, I have friends who are like this, who are just held back from doing it because they're so afraid that it has to be perfect. And maybe it doesn't look as good as somebody else's the first time, so they don't want to do it anymore. So I would encourage you to just give it a try because um, you're going to end up feeling quite proud of yourself. Um, just be easy on yourself. Take, take it easy and give yourself a little leeway. You weren't born painting, so it's going to be a skill you have to learn. All right, so I'm going to get off my speech here and I'm going to speed up just a little bit so we can finish this. Um, you guys go ahead and finish whatever pattern you're doing on your sections and we'll be back in a minute, okay?
Okay guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and as you can see, just did some alternating dots on that next one. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead with this little liner brush and do like a sunburst. At least that's my goal. We'll see if it turns out like that, but <laughs> we're just gonna um, every few inches give myself a little sunburst with three little lines and see how it turns out. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you have um, enjoyed this so far and I hope you're loving your patterns. And you really, with patterns, you're open to anything. It, you don't have to um, be nailed down to just dots and lines. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and if you have trouble, just go to Pinterest and look up different patterns. It's a really great resource for finding ideas. And, oh, shoot, there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, but I can't remember what it is. It left my mind. Well, it'll come back to me in a little bit, and then I can tell you. But right now, um, I hope you're enjoying your process, and um, continue on. Just go on to your next line and add another cool pattern with another cool color, another complimentary color, or even one that's not so complimentary, because some of these colors aren't great together, but when you put them all together like this, it really gives it something magical, something fun. So... If you don't, oh, that's what I was going to say, is if you don't like it, just let that section dry, and then you can paint right over it. But you have to make sure it's good and dry first. So any any uh, pattern that you've done that you really hate, just let it dry, and then you can come back over it and fix it right up, okay? All right, I'll check back with you guys in a few.
now you can see I've gotten a few more of these sections done. Um, I'm kind of sticking with lines and dots. Um, that purple section, I tried to add some mountains. Just the idea of some mountains and, and the sun. Um, I really, you know, you don't have to have some big idea like that to go behind your pattern and, and explain why your pattern is what it is. Um, I just was trying to be creative. Trying to come up with something a little new. A new idea. And I am trying to do this without looking at Pinterest and getting my ideas. Now, I had that sample earlier on my phone. And you can always reference those um, pictures. And that always helps. It also gives you ideas. That one was um, super detailed. And I didn't want to get that involved. Because then you really would need to measure and make sure everything's exactly perfect and lined up. Or it'll look a little weird. So, I have gone ahead and just added some dots in between these lines just to give it a little something different and then we'll move on so i'll check back up with you in a little bit hope you're doing great
Okay guys, checking back in. As you can see here, I am wrapping up my patterns. I'm almost done. And now we just need to make sure everything is good and dry. But as you can see, I've tried to vary up my different designs. And I'm really liking this. I think it's really cute and I love all these colors together. Um, I think what I'm going to do is write mama on it because that's a big thing. Everybody's all about mama and um, mom and mom life and things like that. Um, now you can write anything on it. You don't have to write anything on it at all if you don't want to. Um, it's just a really cool pattern and a really cool design and I like it. So I hope you guys are liking yours. And let's see here. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do here is outline. Do my little final accent outlines and then add my lettering. So I've got my liner brush and I'm just going to go over some different areas. <laughs> I don't know where I want to start, but we're just going to go over a few areas to give it a final, final touches as I call them. Trying to follow that same outline of the shape. And I've brought it in just a little bit from the edge. I don't want to line it up just exactly on the edge and make a perfect line. This is just a little bit of a finishing touch. You guys can do this with black or white. You can do just about any color. Um, and you'd be surprised at how much that finishes off a project and how it ties everything together and looks really nice. notice that I'm loading up my brush frequently and I've got this black a little bit watered down so it'll flow off my brush well and your wispies will be different um, different widths depending on how much pressure you're putting on the brush so if you want a skinny line you would not put as much pressure if you want a little bit fatter line then you'd put a little more pressure so it's just up to you Make sure that when you're adding your wispies that you're not resting your hand on your wet paint because you will have a mess and I don't think that would be very fun to clean up. So looking at that, I would call that finished. I really like it. I think it's a completed project and I really think it's pretty plain like this. But what you can do is make sure everything's dry. That's still pretty wet so we're going to not mess with that. But we're going to make sure everything's dry and then we'll come back in with our chalk and add mama okay so let's grab our chalk and we're gonna just take it and write M-A-M-A -M -A over top of everything we've got going on here and keep in mind the lighter that you press with your chalk oh look at that I smeared it but that's okay because we're gonna paint over that um, the lighter you press the less you have to clean up if it doesn't work out. Um, now I just did M-A-M and saw that I was running out of room a little bit. So I'm just going to, and I know that's wet, so I'm going to just paint over that in just a second. So now I've got my Filbert brush. It's a rounded end brush. It's like a flat brush, but with a rounded end. And I'm just filling it with white and writing on here one stroke at a time. You wouldn't want to try to do that whole M in one stroke. So one line equals one stroke. There you go. Now see how that came through, but we're going to paint over it, so it's fine. Here's our last little M. Now we got to put our A on here. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, you're going to let this area dry. And anything else um, where that paint bled through, where it wasn't dry, you can just go back over it with a second coat of white. Alright, there you have it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.